Guys, in this video, I'm gonna talk about the top of the funnel and how do you use it, why it's important, and um, the best way to go about building upon getting clients out of it or getting getting sales out of it, I should say. I work in the agency industry, so everything on my mind is clients. Although Jay Abraham did once say, everybody is a client and you should treat everybody as if they were a client, regardless of the business or industry you're in. So, but that's neither here nor there. Um, top of funnel. Now we know there's three types of funnels that you can use within Facebook advertising, Google advertising, Bing advertising, whatever type of advertising you're using. There's top of the funnel, there's middle of the funnel, there's bottom of the funnel. Each one has a specific task. In this video, we're talking about the top of the funnel. I'll do videos, power tips on the other two phases of the funnel, but for now, top of the funnel, because the majority of the people watching this video are going to start with cold traffic. And speaking of cold traffic, the top of the funnel is specifically designed for cold traffic. Anytime you develop new keywords, top of the, if you're in Google and you're using uh, keywords that are very broad, you're going to be sending them to the top of the funnel. If you are exploring a new Facebook audience, you're going to be using top of the funnel. Now, Top of the funnel should never be led with a product offer. You could lead with a product offer, but your best bet for your best bang on your dollar is not to immediately go for the conversion. And that's what the, the biggest mistake that some of people will make when they start advertising is not knowing how to utilize the top of the funnel. So real quick, top of the funnel, the type of content you put in top of the funnel is going to be blog posts, potentially videos on you know the, those seven reasons, those 10 reasons, those 15 secrets, you know that kind of thing. So you're gonna need three types of pieces of content. You're gonna need the video, so you can retarget people who are watching the video, the first click, right? And I'll more on the first click later, but you wanna be able to retarget people that watch certain portions of the video. And then you also need a PDF. It could be one page, two page, it could be an infographic, whatever the case is, whatever piece of content is relevant to your audience. That's the type of content you want to use. And you want to use a blog post or you want to use audio, right? I said three pieces, but you could go with those four pieces. Now, each one of them, you are able to integrate an offer into those pieces of content, which is a very strategic thing to do if you have a very small offer to lead with on the front end. Um, the idea is to first and foremost, get people who are not aware of you, get them into your ecosystem. And once they're into your ecosystem, absorbing your content, now they are being peppered with pieces of content because who knows, they may go from the video to the website, from the website to a blog post, from the blog post to a video, from a video to audio, from audio to a conversion. You never know how people travel and become a customer when you start to advertise the cold funnel. And be mindful of your creative and your messaging. Make sure that's on point in alignment with your piece of content. Top of the funnel, guys, is very important. 80 to maybe even, I say at a minimum, 60% of your budget should be focused at the top of the funnel. Don't make the mistake of trying to go big at the top of the funnel and then you lose out and not get anything done or any research that could specifically help you move people to the middle and the bottom of the funnel.